It's just that, well, there's no swimming allowed. The pool closed an hour ago. Nighttime swimming is where it's at. There's no lifeguard during the day, is there? No, but... So what difference does it make? Well, it is getting pretty hot in here. Maria, a quick little dip isn't gonna hurt, is it? Him, I do. I just think he's sort of wild. What if we had got caught tonight? But we didn't. We're just lucky my parents aren't home yet. Will you stop being so uptight? At least Griffin's getting us to do something different for a change. You're not getting a crush on him, are you? Of course not. He could end up being my stepbrother. Right. Just checking. Hey, we just realized what time it is. We've all got to get home. I can't believe all your friends wimped out on us. You don't have a curfew too, do you? Uh, sort of. But I'm staying over at my dad's tonight. He told me I could stay out an extra half hour because I was hanging out with you. Hey, what are we doing here? This is your mom's building. You going in already? Shh, follow me. I just need to make a pit stop. I can't believe I forgot these tonight. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? Do you know how bad that is for you? So what? We're all gonna die sooner or later. <coughs> That's the stupidest argument I've ever heard. So I'm stupid. We all know that. That's not what I meant. Want one? Uh, no thanks. Boy, you and your friends really know how to whoop it up, don't you? Do any of you ever play outside the box without getting all nutty and paranoid? Sure we do. I I'm just trying to quit right now. I hear you. It's tough. Can you do these? Oh yeah, sure. No problem. Ouch! Let's see. Bad liar. You've never smoked before. <laughs> Leave me alone. Hey! I could call the cops and get you two charged with underage smoking and loitering. So you better get lost, okay? This is private property. Hey, man, my mom lives here. Well, then I'm sure she'll want to know what you've been up to. I've got a nice little movie to show her in there. I think we've seen enough. Sharon, how long has the smoking thing been going on? Griffin, were you smoking too? Hey, everyone has to try smoking once in their life. I swear it was my first and last time. I hope so. Do you know how addictive it is? How terrible it is for your body? Yes. Grandma died of lung cancer from smoking two packs a day since she was a teenager. I know. I want to talk to your mother for a few minutes. I'm your Our lives are over. Maybe for you, but Lauren's never dished out a punishment in her life. Your mom and I have agreed that this definitely warrants being grounded. For the next month, no extracurricular activities, social engagements... Or phone, TV, and computer privileges. 
And we're booking an appointment with Dr. Kreiser so that you can hear firsthand the harm smoking does to your body. You think any of that's going to make a difference if she wants to smoke again? Maybe not, but she'll realize how serious we are about not wanting her to. I think you need to get the same message, Griffin. What? So now you're suddenly pretending to be strict mama? No, I'm learning. You'll have the same consequences as Sharon. Fine, but if you and your new boyfriend think you can control me, you're wrong! So basically, it's a major prison sentence. And on top of that, my mom doesn't want me hanging around Griffin. Probably shouldn't even be talking to you in case you put bad ideas into my head or something. Well, I just can't believe you smoked. Thanks for the sympathy card. Why would you even try it? Do you know that cigarettes have some of the same ingredients in them as rat poisoning? And nail polish remover. Hey, what is this? Is no one gonna feel sorry for me? Well, it's a drag you're not gonna be around for a month. But that was pretty stupid, Sharon. Oh, come on. Don't tell me you guys never thought of trying it. Excuse me, but I sort of like to be able to breathe when I work out. And I already have enough problems breathing with my asthma. And, uh, I already did. Try it, I mean. You tried smoking? Yeah. In eighth grade, Nina and I got into it. How into it? Well, at first we were just trying it, and then, I don't know, we just ended up smoking all the time. I can't believe you never told me this. What happened? Our parents caught us and went crazy. At first we weren't worried because we thought we could quit whenever we wanted to, but it was totally hard. See? Nicotine's totally addictive. It is, and don't let anyone tell you it isn't. That's how tobacco companies keep making money. They try so hard to make it look like it's cool to smoke. I went completely broke buying cigarettes. So now you've quit for good? 